If the Miami Dolphins ultimately decided to shelve their starters for the team's third and final preseason contest of the summer next weekend, would you really blame them? Miami has been battling some minor bumps and bruises at key positions and is coming off the heels of a dominating 37-17 victory over the Atlanta Falcons at Hard Rock Stadium on Saturday night. The team could very easily parlay that strong performance into an extended rest period to ensure the team has fresh legs for when they clash with the New England Patriots in week one of the regular season and provide themselves with the chance to get healthy along the way. But that may not necessarily be head coach Brian Flores' style. When asked on Sunday about the Dolphins' upcoming approach for their final preseason contest, Flores stayed fairly non-committal to any one strategy. I think we should watch the game again on Saturday night. Haven't really thought about what we're going to do next week, who's going to play, how much. We'll meet about that a little bit tonight. Probably formulate a plan on that throughout the week. But playing in those games is important and the guys who are on the bubble are close, those guys will play. How much is just, we haven't gotten to that yet, said Flores. Understandable, for sure. In some instances, the added repetitions may outweigh the potential risks such as on the offensive line. The Dolphins have already showed their hand in this capacity in each of the first two preseason games, keeping their starters on the offensive line in the game well beyond the rest of the other primary players on offense. How much play have the starters up front got? Austin Jackson, Robert Hunt and Solomon Kindley have all played 88 snaps through two games. Only projected starting center Michael Deiter, 80, is within 25 snaps of that total. Liam Eichenberg took 46 snaps in Saturday's showdown with the Falcons, leaving him tied with Jesse Davis with one game left to play. If we were to wager a guess, Miami will get some play for the big men. But entrenched starters like Tua Tungavailoa? That may be a different story. Flores and his staff will have this week to figure things out.